So let's let's give ourselves a, a, a point in volition. Okay. And start hearing it speak up more often. There we go. And then now we've got more to heal on it. Although the fact that it's damaged means you don't hear it as often as you otherwise would, though, right? That's the thing. But yeah, I'll, I'll say I'll save my 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 things for. Uh, the potential. I might there might be free heals in conversations. Uh, True. All right. So, twenty three eighteen. Which side was the Law of Pines group on? They pick the winning side. That's why they're here, and others are not. That's how you write history. They chose wisely. They got lucky. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there's intent between these uh, Certainly two sentences. Is. Would you word choice, huh? Would I mean? Would you consider it luck if it was? It's like it, it, if it's like, yeah. I, I I don't I don't I don't like like when you say like oh you got lucky. It's like a salty kicking the dirt. Like oh it could have gone either way with a coin toss. And it's like well no you 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 don't necessarily even if you don't agree with the side they're on. It's like the idea that it was just up to luck is a fucking stupid reductionist thing to say about it, even if you're in opposition to their ideas. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if your opponent defeats you, and they're wrong, and you go, oh, well, they just got lucky. That's insanely reductionist. You know? Can't say wise either. So that's some bullshit. But then to say this means you are, you are in agreement. You're on the bad side of history. Yeah. So... Between these two, I guess we go lucky. That's yeah. That's what Perhaps I would go with. Perhaps it wouldn't have turned out that way had I been in charge. I might have bet on the king and let the pines to doom. Damn. Okay, you would have sided with the king. I would have sided with the cannons. If you'd seen the calibers of the things, you might have too. Perhaps it's better I was born when I was. <laughs> Shoutouts to the, uh, what was it? I think it was the ads for, for Coca-Cola that were, that were like, uh, literally there's like, there's like the current, the, the current, like modern Coke with the, um, inclusivity ribbon okay. around it, you know? Um, and, and like, it has like the, uh, LGBTQ flags and things. And then it's like side by side with, uh, Coke in the forties saying one Reich, one people. One Germany. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh. Our times have changed, Willie. Always Coca Cola. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful like, uh -huh. history. Oh, wow. The corporate is on my side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That was some wild shit. I, I might be getting the quote wrong on that. Um, <laughs> I might be getting the quote wrong on that, but, like, it was just, like, a fucking... Like, there's a side-by-side -side picture of, of like, the, the fucking pro-Nazi, like, Coca text okay. right on the bottle or the can or whatever, and then alongside that, you're just like, man, right? The sides of the sides of the cannons, as she says, right? Doesn't matter what's happening. It's whatever, wherever the fucking big guns are. <sighs> yeah. Not to mention how many modern day businesses and, and, and uh, uh, existing oh, industries are 100% coming out of that era. Mm -hmm. You know, we all know. Yeah, Fanta. Hugo Boss, etc. Volkswagen. Uh-huh. Ten of the fourteen Indo tribes got it wrong. Feld, Kupri, Tricentennial. So I suppose I would have been in good company. What would you have done differently? Good question. What would you have done differently? I asked you, who are you in all this? Uh, 
Uh, I would have sought a medical solution. Sounds like Zarath drove those people mad. I would have killed more. 400 million, if that's what it took. Uh-huh. I would have positioned myself very precisely. I would have made it out with the mineral rights. I don't know what I would have done differently, coward. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Huh. So, so uh, I uh, don't like the fact that she's redirecting the question. Mm -hmm. Just, uh, just as an aside, yes, that Coca-Cola Nazi ad was, in fact, for the Nazi Olympics in 1936. Correct. Cool. That's still a yep. Coca-Cola ad. <laughs> with was it refreshing? Right here. Here you go. There it is. Mm -hmm. As you can see. So yes, refreshing. What changes? The official drink of the Olympics. Could we have Jesse Oren take the picture at the end of the race? Can uh, you hold this bottle, please? Watch this. Uh, watch your phone there. Let me just put this down for a second real quick. Okay. What is the drink that allowed you to run this fabulous performance, Mr. Owens? <laughs> <laughs> it's Coca-Cola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a great big smile with those pearly whites. Oh, I mean, look, man. Hitler was a huge fan of Coke. <laughs> You can watch him watching the performance, uh, tweaking out of his fucking mind. <laughs> With the old ingredients, moving. He's moving. Uh, 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 moonwalking. Uh, all right. What would you have done differently? Uh, where are you and all? I asked you, right? Your question to the question. Mm -hmm. Medical solution. Uh, killed more. Positioned myself precisely, made it out with the mineral rights, the diplomatic approach. I don't know what I would have done liberal, uh, differently. Five is coward, one is redirecting, and she'll probably be like, "Oh, well, it doesn't. It's not about me. What do you think?" Yeah, I, I don't like the the the, the question returnal, re returnal. Yeah, the question right? return. Like, hey, answer what I asked you. And I. Asked you. I knew it. Oh. detective of the citizens' militia. Ooh. Inside has acute encephalopathy given to you. Video game says this is your game. Yeah. You're playing, not me. Ooh. No, you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Well, then. So be it. Um. The, uh, if I'm not mistaken, this, yeah, this is implying drugs, correct? Mm-hmm. Two implies the big drugs. Uh, let me look back for a little bit more context on Zarath. Or am I... Yeah, it should be somewhere. Two implies pandemic. Oh, okay. Um, do we have the original pandemic line still on the screen right now? Sorry, let's see. Oh, it clean, cleaned up, eh? Yeah, it might have been prior to this. Because mm -hmm. I'm just, I just want to understand the full context of, of, of two. Uh, if they're implying... Because I'm guessing it sounds to me like they're implying then if it's not if it's if it's not uh, implying drugs then it would be implying um, a solution to the pandemic. Yeah. Okay. There was an option to learn more about the disease that we missed out. Okay. Uh. Yeah. I mean this. Yeah. This sounds. This sound. Then I'm leaning in this direction. Then. Right. So they used the pandemic as a way to get in or, intervene or the actual or, or the actual uh, disease or virus was affecting like people's men mental states a cold creeps up your spine reaching its tendrils up your neck toward the back of your head so a quarter of humanity simply lost their minds and how would you stop a prion a complex folding protein, unlife, with the technology 50 years ago. Mm, you can't. Damn, I want, I want to learn more about this thing, though. We, we missed the prompt on it. 
Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, with some hygiene, modest social care, and perhaps a little research program. Liquidate the rabid, prion infested dogs who want to kill everyone with cleansing artillery fire. With privatized health care and a work ethic that does not turn your brain into sponge tissue. Okay, maybe it's impossible. What happened had to happen, and always will. Okay, I... Uh, see, this. the problem is we just don't have enough information here. Like, how bad is this disease? Like, Very bad. It's where we're, it, I mean, this is the, we're, we're, we're taking context clues. We're yes ending right now. Because prions, I know that like, it's very dangerous for humanity because they have trouble fighting whatever diseases that they come right into you. So, but, but, but I guess it's almost like, um, that like, this is absolutely insane. Uh, but like, this is not insane in a world of zombies right mm. so are we but we're not talking about zombies right yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> that's fair do you, do you, we, so what are we talk? what are we talking about are we talking about people kind of going crazy or are we talking about zombies where is because two is it is contextually zombie correct yeah okay d d this is what this but is the information we're missing yeah <laughs> let's assume for now not zombies. i'm going to assume <laughs> not zombies terrible yes yeah okay closer to like a mad cow disease all right in which case then yeah yeah it, it was kind of fucked like if animals get infected you have to like kill like a bunch of chicken and a bunch of animals to take care of it though i mean that's how they dealt with mad cow disease wasn't it yeah just kill a bunch of herds to cleanse them out yeah and also uh, i think uh, mink Mm -hmm. in uh in scandinavia they mm -hmm. killed like millions mm -hmm. of mink like in the last years rabies <sighs> so then that gets closer to zombies <laughs> I guess. so how do you treat the human population that is now under that spell i don't know with as much compassion as possible while still acknowledging that it's a lost cause like there's there's a lot there's this a, is, oh my god this is complicated it's it seems so um yeah seems 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 kind of an impossible situation uh but let's go back after this and, and see if we can find out more the wind stops and for a moment there's silence the charge dissipates into the dark water all is quiet on the Martinez Inlet. Always. <sighs> there she is. Always. That's the can't do attitude that truly defines late modernity. You may prove a modern man yet. Damn. Yo, the voice of Revachal only shows up, like, in sprinkles. <laughs> and I'm like... I want more. <laughs> I want so much more. And it's like, mm -mm. just for the moments yeah. that matter. Okay. The can't do attitude that truly defines late modernity. You may prove to be a modern man yet. <clears throat> Opinions expressed here do not reflect the official position of the RCM. Thanks, Kim. And what is your official position, Lieutenant? My position, ma'am? My parents got ripped to shreds in the revolution. I would have gone the same way. I was saved by being two years old. That's my position. The abattoir. Understandable. Mm hmm That's enough about the times. They are what they are. Who knows? An afterbloom may yet come. Anyway, enough sentimentality. Is there anything else you want to know? I'm I'm kind of amazed that Kim is even putting up with this to this extent to be real. Very patient. Yeah. And then to especially especially having uh, such a direct answer. Yeah. Not so fast. Who is she in all this? Ask her who she is. She owes you an answer. Hmm. Still low. I want to know who you are. What you are. 
even rawer. Excuse me, what you are. Raw. Hmm. She hums. Hmm. She won't maneuver her way out of this one. She did last time. Right, that's right. Volition coming in. Come on. Come on, baby. What are you? Or... or your big, big silence. Yo. The level three pregnant pause. Bzzz. I am the vilest of the vile. A traitor. A devourer of nations and infants. She says with a sudden flash of teeth. Aha. I am an ultra. Wait, what's an ultra? The liberal comes out. (laughs) Dios mio, a liberal. (laughs) Cool. I liberate pretty hard myself. I don't understand what's so vile about that. Full embracing of the baby factories. That is to say, not the factories that make the babies, but the the factories that employ them. Oh, okay. With proper benefits. Yes, I of assume. course. Okay. Diaper changing, every mm-hmm. every uh, you know couple hours. Um. What's an ultra a liberal? <laughs> For I don't know what's well about that. We know what an ultra is, but let's hear her definition. Yes, entertain us. What's an, an ultra liberal? It's a type of liberal from the revolution. It's uh, not the moderate kind. <laughs> here's a couple of answers. There's only two that'll move the conversation forward. <laughs> but here's a couple answers to get more context about this thing that we're going to force you to because you're going to have to. <laughs> Or was you trying to narrow <laughs> things down? Of course you can't do that. Why would you do that? That's some that's some fucking you can't sit on that fence. That hurts, you get impaled. You get impaled on that fence. And then and then the Punisher will jump on you to get to get down from that building. Uh I don't understand what's so vile about that. Cool I liver pretty hard myself. Ay Dios mio Yes. I am the nether creature of the Forbidden Swamp. I pushed the king under a shit wagon and betrayed the revolution. My kind surrendered the nation to financial colonists. I can see you thought we'd gone extinct. After all, no sane person identifies as an ultra-liberal anymore. Not in broad daylight. You're a centrist at heart. A real moralist, no? Tell me, now that I've uncoiled myself, do you find me frightening? What shoes am I wearing? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. What I shoes am I wearing? Just flash them. Am I fucking wearing the shoes? I think I'm wearing them. No, we took them off for the stats. No. No way. I think we took them off for the stats. So we don't have the cool black shoes? Anymore? I think the hustle is gone. Oh, my God. And we never did internalize. Indirect the, modes of taxation. If we didn't internalize it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, she was gone. She yeah. was gone. She would have been, man, like, what are you wearing? It's look pretty good. You worked hard for those, didn't you? Took mm-hmm. them right out of that empty fucking apartment. Mm-hmm. In her green eyes, you see a mixture of truth and self-satire. Decades of guilt and pride. That's how you function on a day-to-day. And satirize the truth makes it more digestible palatable but only because you like pearlescent teeth and those light green eyes you're a monster I forgive you I forgive you but only because you're charming I don't care that's literally the answer that's literally the answer a devil who being of great charm and guile sneaketh into the homes of the godly. Vile de- devil. Shake your head slowly. I hope so. I hope we are able to continue as friends despite my scaly bulk and the insanity, bloodshed, and transfer of wealth that took place <laughs> here. It was not the plan all along. Wow. Morally gray. <laughs> wow! Uh, As if she mentioned the transfer of wealth. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
it was gonna go that way no matter what i will show you the divide how how, classes. how will you thank you karen how will you pay for your fucking apartment uh, uh lodgings if 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 not with this then you hobo cop it is the only other way to go i suppose um it's it's morally gray but not on the basis of of uh hot neutrality but like charm neutrality yeah you know she's entertaining this conversation at all to begin with after all and thank you and in the context of uh video game npc what else do you have to go on but the charm of the person you're speaking to when the dust settled the liberals were the only ones left to clean up the mess by virtue of their survival they were handed enormous power to shape the future this was all our last generation managed she turns her gaze to the Delta. Would you have done something differently? That settles it. Is it are we going to get another, another double down on our return on this? With due respect to our overlords, the eternal caretaker government that keeps Martinez a monument to the efficacy of its artillery. While a gentle wind sweeps the streets in the rebuilt east, light drizzle washing it clean, lights go up and motor carriages circulate the tracks. I would not have relinquished sovereignty to the Coalition. Not here in Martinez, and not in the Stella Maris or Delta Beachheads either. If not for my own sake. It's just narrating the scene. It's just, it's just bringing you the information about mm -hmm. the surroundings as she says what she says. I would not have relinquished, rel relinquished sovereignty of the Coalition. Then for my daughters. We had an obligation to defend our sovereignty. We should have burned the whole Isola down rather than let them have it. Damn. Dark orange flames reflect in her green eyes. An oil fire on the ocean. You're a smart woman. You're a patriot. You have daughters? Yes. I suppose I am. But I wouldn't be a patriot anywhere but here. All right. Love for business first, love for country second. <laughs> Seditious talk, man. The lieutenant puts down his notes and gives her a look. You have a daughter. Daughters, plural. Conclude. Yes. Whatever else I am, I'm also a mother and a wife. Are uh, you a sinner? Can we return to reality. Say again. Are you a sinner and a saint? Ah. Okay. What is this? A bird? A Svenisid? A flightless bird of the polar regions? Hmm. Keep guessing. Am I really that awkward? I meant, what is this place here? <laughs> <laughs> of course you're not, my dear. I'm just terrible at guessing games. <gasps> I meant, what is this place here? Ah, this is the pier of Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A, where the tenants <coughs> have been kind enough to rent me a slot. Or two. Mm -hmm. Looks around. What is Rue de saint Gislaine, 33A? Yo, know, Joyce is a huge fan of those sidewalk terraces taking up uh, the... the restaurant space downtown yeah <laughs> it's like yeah we've got paying customers let's just uh, let's just move a seat and a table over this parking space and then if we get one or two customers per hour we'll just pay the tickets indefinitely that's how it works oh you didn't know no so um the fucking voldemort of downtown that owns all the restaurants, sports station, etc. Uh, or the, the fucking or and then the whole cock and bull situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that whole thing. So the way they the way that is all set up now, downtown Montreal is restaurants have uh, there's a sidewalk and then there's the parking space in front. Now half of that sidewalk has been re has been <laughs> squeezed so that you have to walk sideways to get by them, and that extends all the way to the edge of the parking space so that no cars can park. And then in the, they put up two wooden fences and set all their terraces mm -hmm. so that people can go in and eat outside. Um, they do this 
uh, in a, a, under the claim that they own the space uh, up to the street. But then there's the parking space, of course, where cars should be able to park. Right. So what happens when you've occupied a parking space? You just pay a parking ticket. Thus, what is the cost? Uh, whatever the cost of the parking ticket is every hour. Okay, we have customers coming in and eating. The parking ticket can continue to be paid indefinitely for the entire summer. And it's more cost effective not know that. to keep the fucking terrace taking up the parking space. That's crazy. So people cannot park there and too fucking bad. That is crazy. We only have half the sidewalk in our in our in our name, but we go up to the street level because we can just take it, and the city doesn't give a fuck. He started that hustle, rent free. He started that hustle, <laughs> and everyone followed, followed suit. Oh Good God. luck parking downtown. This is what happens. Oh, that is disgusting. Unbelievable. Yup, the Un- hustle is real. Straight up, the hustle is real. That's Joyce. <laughs> Legally, what can we do here? Right? Just keep paying tickets. It's my space now. Nice gaming the system. Yeah. yeah. It's like it's like it's like walking into like a, a private parking lot and then just setting up like a fucking <laughs> you know a, a, a food a, truck. Setting up a house or a fair or just setting up shop. It's your land and then they and it's like, okay, well what's the cost of renting every parking space? All right, here's the money for that. This land is mine now. Right. And you just keep paying that money. And as long as customers give you enough to make a profit on top of that, you're done. And the people that own the parking lot don't care. Oh, my God. I did not know Wild. that. That is disgusting. And the function of the parking for the people has been taken away. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Which causes more problems. <laughs> Incroyable. Yeah. <laughs> A-N-G. Uh... Yes. A pre-revolutionary tenement. Old buildings are called tenements, you see. And new buildings, bâtiments. After les bâtiments nouveaux. But 33A and 33B are not nouveau. They're old. This one used to be eight to ten stories tall. A real high-rise by the standards of the last century. Built to mirror the skyscrapers across the bay in the delta. That was before the war, of course. Oh, we lived in them. Mostly the urban middle class, I believe. This was once primo real estate, before the cannons locked four or five stories off. Splat, splat. From a dilapidated balcony, Cindy the Skull gives Joyce the evil eye, her red <sighs> paintbrush held to her throat. She's listening. She's been listening the whole time. Wonderful. <laughs> what is that? The girl in the old lady rags? Yes. Looks like a sullen and rebellious member of a teen infraculture. Infraculture? Yes. You and I belong to the supraculture. We're common, the herd. The music on the radio, the food in the chain restaurant, those are all too popular for the girl mm. in the old lady rags. <sighs> The call-outs. She prefers a fantasy world, an infraculture with its own dress code and vernacular. It is an illusion, I'm afraid. There is no refuge from the superculture. Oh my god. Oh no! Dude, Called is... out! Yo! Oh. Yo! <laughs> oh it. my god! What Joyce. are we doing? Don't mess with Joyce! No! Don't mess with Joyce! Fuck! You wanna talk about reality? Time to invent normcore. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yo. It's the only way to win. Invent normcore. Become normal ironically. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way. Can't defeat that. Okay, now explain the same thing, but to a child. I understand everything. Make it more complicated somehow. I can't. That's how simple it is. One may dye their hair green and wear their grandma's coat all they want. Cattle has the ability to subsume all critiques into itself. Even those who would critique capital end up reinforcing it instead. Oh, I can I can hear the people getting mad. 
beast I hear them mode yo <laughs> beast mode <laughs> yo oh my God. Joyce you ah! think you can escape you're a part of it <laughs> you think you're special you're a part of it critique it because you're a part of it you're the part of it that critiques it and you're a part of it <laughs> Oh uh, shit! Damn, damn! The system has provided a nice little rack of "I hate the system" T-shirts for you to purchase for the low, low price of four ninety nine. Available now. Uh, you can get them and match them with your "I hate the system" shoes. Right, right over here. We got a store for you. You know, get them before your favorite artist gets them. Cause yeah, then the price is gonna rise up. You know, boo! The system sucks. <laughs> Yo, Elvis's manager sold I Hate Elvis shirts and merch around and outside his concerts and venues that were supposed to have him back when people were protesting his moves for being uh, too controversial and, and uh, not tame enough. Shaking you know? that pelvis all so over the, the place. Exactly. All of the, all of the lewd implications for those who were, uh, 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 you know, like to... Um, um, He's like, saw him as too, too uh, sexualized for, for, you know, the youth. And, like, literally his own fucking manager was like, yeah, just get, just corner the market on that shit. Right? There you go. All right. What next? Damn. Suddenly, you're not so sure you're part of the super culture. I think I may be part of an infra culture. I want to hear her. I want to hear Cindy's response to that <laughs> shit. To the absolute deconstruction and annihilation of her as a person. She is now a pile of Lego bricks. With the logo Lego stamped on each brick. <laughs> <laughs> with the registered on it. Yep. yep absolutely. <laughs> I think I may be part of an infra culture. And what would that be? Prize go round with surprise. Cop. Disco. I don't know. I just feel it. Okay. <laughs> Are we disco? There's, what's this option? What does this lead to? I want to know what that leads to. We might be disco. Disco sounds fun, but I'm what if three is more fun? Damn. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to go disco. <laughs> I can see that. Yes. I dabble in those dark arts myself. Not so long ago. I assure you it was a thoroughly supracultural phenomenon. <laughs> All permeating. Downright mandatory. Downright mandatory. Mm -hmm. Nothing infra about disco, baby. You got disco. Your disco got discovered about another basic reality term. Those days are long behind me. And even in the early thirties, I would say I was more of a new girl. Disco was a minor but still enjoyable facet of the whole thing for me. Hmm. The new. Hmm. No, I don't think you understand, Joyce. You see, I'm a gamer. I'm different. <laughs> We do things differently, and I spend my days playing Fortnite, <laughs> so you can have your whole normie life, but we're out here. And we're doing it. You just wouldn't understand. The new, a cultural era, and the name of the decade it ravished, the 30s. It came out of post-revolutionary revachol. It was ultra-liberal. It involved lots of partying, as you might imagine, and champagne-colored everything. By the looks of it, that would have been when you came of age. <laughs> now. She raises an eyebrow. Would you eyebrow describe here. it as a sort of Elysium? Ooh. Sounds fun. I can't remember a single thing. Wasn't it Guillaume Le Million who said... If you can remember the new, you weren't there. For some reason, your mind is a veritable repository of Guillaume Le Million lyrics, trivia, what? and b-sides. 
But the time to explore this is when you're alone, <laughs> facing a mirror perhaps. Right now, it would derail the reality lowdown. Okay, save Guillaume for later. Check. And now the impossible is possible. What is all of this? The scent, the sound, the air. Were you worried a bit or? <laughs> I, I would be lying <laughs> if I said no. What world? The only one, I suppose. The world of matter. And its pale antipode. The camera of her mind glides over the surface of the water. What do you see? Great bodies of water. Forest-covered surfaces. Clusters of light where the cities lie. You've seen the montage. We all have. This world is enough. There is a term of Indian they coin for it in the DeLorean century, when humanity was high on this world, discovering more and more of it, these archipelagos included. What is it? Elysium. Mm. Wait, is this the one with the evil apes? Great bodies of water, forest covered surfaces, clusters of white cities, lakes, and the Elysium. The world needs a term of endearment. This world does not deserve a term of endearment. Let's go. It does. There are those who would call it hell. What is hell? A term of hatred that originates, like many such things, with the Mesk Petro fascists. <laughs> right. That was the word that originally fucking raised my eyebrows. The petro fascists fascists. Uh I don't feel like I've got the whole picture yet. Well, I've got a clear picture. Let's proceed to another term. Oh. You want a picture of the world? She raises her there fingers. There is to no her complete lips. set yet, dear. They're having some trouble reaching orbit. How come? Great things are difficult to achieve. For now, we're viewing the world from the inside, sideways. Hmm. How about, it's a ball? Inside sideways. What shape is the world then? We used to think it was a sphere, but that is beginning to look less and less likely by the day. Oh my God. You wouldn't know it from the tabloids, but the ORG Hold up. nations Where is she going? have been launching weather balloons into the lower ionosphere since the 30s. Oh my God. You better be Oh my god. What are you about to say next? ORG. Occident Revishaw Grad. There's a steadily increasing trickle of images. Between the big three scientific contributors, they're piecing together a dark grey corona. Mm, a dark grey corona. Yes. Pale covers 72% of the surface. There are grey flares and prominences. Even arcs above entire isolas. The images are blurry, but if there was a sphere in there, it certainly looks like it fractured a long time ago. <laughs> Excuse me? What? Wh what? What are you saying? You seem to be spooked. Please don't be. Her voice becomes homely, calm. She lets a moment pass. The pale. And what do you mean, Corona? They say there is a rarefied envelope of matter surrounding the darkened disk of our planet. That is, if we are still living on a planet. Or, to speak more plainly, imagine vast swathes of land disrupted by nothingness. Well, this Th changes a character profile. This man really just created a world that not only features flat earthers but so far she's been the most reliable person we've spoken to 
Thus, what reason do you have to doubt her? Up until she's talking about evidence. What's what? You, what, you, what the fuck? Are you what? Are, what? Are you, what? I am sorry, dear. It must sound quite terrifying through the acute encephalopathy. Even scientific positivism isn't entirely convinced about what we're dealing with here. How are you supposed to rely? Like you're trusting this person's everything else. Yes. Yes. And now everything has been put into perspective. Not into question? <laughs> you chose your words carefully there. Absolutely. <laughs> but this is one of the greatest questions of our time. Maybe when they get the complete set together, it will jolt us out of our rut. Bring us together. However naive it may sound. A fractured corona doesn't feel like it's going to bring anyone together. You have misimagined it. I don't have the power to convey to you the effect and geometry of the images that depict our world from below low orbit. It's... it's like the crowning of the world. It's insane. Very disco. You'd love it. I, I, I am... Just, I can't. What? I don't know how to take that. I, I literally don't know how to take this information. Well, if you say it's disco. Doesn't sound like any kind of disco I'd like to go to. I don't care about disco. I only care about the commune. Jesus. <laughs> Which one is more interesting? If you say it's disco. See, everyone finds something worth holding on to in this world, however wasted its opportunities. Mm -hmm. The cold seeps into you. The air is heavy with 80% humidity. Suddenly, you're conscious of yourself standing there, on whatever this all is. Your arms hang down by your sides. The lieutenant observes you both silently. He adjusts his glasses. Did she just make me a flat earther? Is that a thought now? Oh, God. You said yeah. pale. What is pale? The pale is not, technically speaking, part of reality. Yes. Also, I think we've had enough excitement for today. Remember, we have a cadaver to attend to. Of course, Lieutenant. Let's try something else. I don't want to. I want to know what the pale is. <laughs> right? I don't think your colleague would appreciate that. He has already been so patient with this whole exercise. Let's continue with something else. All right? You Talk to her without Kim. Anything else in the world. Anything. But she wants to tell you. This is not going to happen with the lieutenant present. Unless you can convince him to step aside. Well, we know what to do. We need to set Kim to bed and come back And to come her. back later. Or we can try our, 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 our luck here, but you might as well just come back later. Like, yeah. what's the point of doing this check if we can just... Uh, Wait until he goes to bed. If we right? can just come back later, yeah. 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 Uh, he goes to bed at um, some time. Uh, we can see where this goes. Yeah, you want to do it? Good idea. Just ask him. He won't make a scene. Kim, can I talk to the man alone for a second? Fine. He steps away with his notes. See? What can he do? You're a grown man. <laughs> now, what is the pale? Are you sure you're sure? Your colleague seemed adamant. Yes, what is the pale? Okay. The pale is the most dominant geological feature of the world, detective. The separative tissue between the Eastlers. It is the inter mass. 
What is an isola? Isola is a Mycenaean word for a continent of matter, enveloped on all sides by the pale. Also, isolation, or landmass. We used to believe there was only one. In the last four centuries, we have discovered seven. Oh, 